Ladies and gents, welcome, welcome. We are in Spain, in Barcelona. It's 5th of December, 5 p.m. My first day here, my very first few minutes filming now. And we are gonna try and find La Rambla just by heart and then walk down towards the sea. My second phone unfortunately died in Vatican, Vatican Museum, so I don't really have a map on me. Oh, we've just had the most fabulous, fabulous food right here. Turkish restaurant. I ate a full chicken. Check this out. I had a full chicken, my friend had only half <laughs> because I like to eat and I'm always hungry. There are so many places around here, loads of food, very happy. Last time I was in Barcelona was 2003, so literally 20 years ago. My first time and my last time. And, and yeah, let's see. I can't remember a thing, obviously, from 20 years ago. I can't remember a thing. I just remember La Rambla was full of street performers. I didn't have much time to look around. As far as I remember, I was just passing through Barcelona. I was living 60 kilometers south of Barcelona in um, Segur de Calafé area. So close to Sitges, close to Villanova and so on. And I had a good time, it was great. But then I, and I was gonna stay in Spain forever, but then I realized they are tiny chiquititos, half of my size, and they speak Catalan here in Barcelona. So if I was gonna do whatever business, jobs and stuff, um, I would have to learn an another language. And at that time I was learning so many languages. I, I was just sick of it. And it's not, you know, I would have to learn how to, how to say invoice and all this business stuff. And I just wasn't up for it. And I ended up in London. And I'm happy. I'm happy about it. The problem now is I can't communicate with my friend because we usually talk on WhatsApp on my second phone. Where are you? Do you want to meet? Do you want to go eat? Do you want to have coffee? Whatever. Or I found this and that. You have to come here. You know, stuff like that. But right now, since my phone fell on the ground in Vatican Museum and died, the screen died, I'm not going to be able to do that. So I'm just going to sniff out some places to film by myself. I do have a second phone with me, but I'm scared to take it out. Oh, uh, yeah. Just because. Just because I paid a lot of money for that. getting dark as I said it's close to 5 p.m. so I'm just making the most of our first day 
Let me cross the road. There seems to be some action on the other side. I actually have quite a few friends here in Barcelona. Um, people that I know from Thailand. And I haven't spoken to them for a, for a long time, for like a few years now, since pandemic and stuff, you know. But since I'll be filming all the time, I've, I will not have time to meet anybody really. I mean, such a food coma after all that chicken. Oh my gosh. It was great though. Oh, wow, well, we were. That's nice. Oh my goodness, look at that pose of this guy. I don't know who, what is it, Pau Claris? No idea who he is, but I'm loving, I'm loving the pose. Oh my goodness. You probably can't see much because it's getting dark. Look at that, cars, ca cars passing through here. That's quite unexpected. He seems to be quite passionate about something. I'm loving the palm trees, Barcelona. Loving the palm trees. And we've got music playing. Look at that, we see French Bulldog, or what is it, is it? Let me take a picture for my friend. He's got a Christmas, Christmas sweater on. <laughs> I'm loving your dog, doggy. My friend has the same, 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 but different. Thank you. <laughs> nice, thank you. So, let's do this. I'm filming 60 frames per second now, so I can't really zoom out, which is annoying. I can't zoom out as much. people on electric scooters here so I have to be careful about phone snatching and, stu and stuff they can ca come quietly and take my phone and stuff that's not good
I can imagine this is gonna be very nice on a, on a sunny day with blue sky. Very nice. This is all I need to make me happy. A few palm trees and I already feel like I'm in an exotic destination. There is beach. I like it. I like it. We are here only for a short while, only a couple of days. Not too, not too long. So, we are very tired. I'm, I'm very tired. No sleep, traveling in the night and all that stuff. But we'll have to make most of it while we can. And then back to London, back to Christmas markets and whatever, whatever else is gonna happen. Maybe snow at the end of the week, apparently. I was gonna take a proper rest, rest in bed and sleep forever after Rome and Bar Barcelona. But as I said, the forecast is showing it's, it's supposed to be snowing. So of course I'll be out. Oh, look at these boys training here. That should be me with all my 77 double chins. Wow, wow, wow. They would be flying all over, the, <laughs> all over the place. But yeah, guys. New Year's resolutions is gonna start early. I have to stop eating as much. It's it's been ridiculous. See now we can see it nicely. I need to start reducing my food and stop eating as much meat. It's it's going down. It's going downhill. So and I would love to stop drinking coffee as well. It's going, oh my God, the last few days in Rome and even here it's cola after coffee, coffee after cola, oh my God. It's very bad, very, very bad. Breakfast, I might do some fruit and slowly get rid of the coffee addiction. Hopefully I can. <laughs> I don't have any other addictions, just coffee and cola. Cola is not as much, but coffee, oh my god. I can't imagine waking up without having coffee, it's a habit. Anyway, guys. You see, I don't even know where I'm going. I don't think I'm su supposed to go this way to La Rambla. Who knows? As I said, I don't have a map. I'm just gonna ask somebody on the way. But I'm loving this walk, so wherever we end up, we end up. The flight here was fabulous. I had three seats to myself. My friend had three seats to, to himself. Oh my goodness. I didn't sleep. I just can't sleep like that. I was, it still wasn't great, but at least I wasn't in the middle seat, stuck in, in between two people and flights out out of Rome was horrendous, very bad. I was sitting next to some English guys from Bristol and Nottingham. We were all very scared because there was like a seven hour storm happening, lightning and, and thunder. So I'm zooming in. I'm, my mind is all over the place. That's why I speak so quietly, so slowly. Um, yeah, it was bad, bad tur turbulence. We kind of fell down with the plane as well, a few meters. People like screaming and stuff. It was not pleasant, I, I can tell you that. So I was very scared and I fly a lot. <laughs> I fly a lot, but you know, you've got these bad flights some, sometimes. It was just never ending flying through the, the thick clouds usually it takes a few minutes and you are above the clouds you see the sun or whatever blue sky this was never ending it felt like we are going through for half an hour you couldn't see a thing outside just fog and 
as I said, quite bad turbulence, so not not nice one. Not a good one. My dad was asking me if I would like to come home for Christmas, you know, back to my country to see my, my family, let's say a year from now. And I said, it's unlikely. I just don't like to fly in the winter at all. The flights are canceled. Every, trains are canceled because of snow or whatever, fog, all these things. So, yeah, let's see, let's see. But yeah, I don't like it. There is a lot of snow happening as well. I'm not a fan at all. At all. Well, I was hoping to see La Rambla <laughs> as a direction. I can't see that, so... Let me ask somebody. Hey, Chiquititos, do you know which way is it to, to, to La Rambla? I should go that way, yeah? So so I could go to the end of this thing no. and then... No? no, I think that's too far. That's too far, yeah. yeah. You can go there and then go to the left and then there's a, a road. So, so, so literally that way? Yeah, that way. Okay, thank you. And and what is this way? I kind of like it. Is it like a park? I like that, yeah. Thank you. So, yeah, let's check it out. Chiquititos. <laughs> Camellios eating non existent mosquitoes. I'm very happy with the hotel where we are staying here. Good choice, it's nice and quiet. You can open the window, temperature is just right. Uh, bed is amazing, everything is just perfect. Very good choice. Everything is nearby, water, snacks, food, very good. I can imagine how hot it must get here in the summer in the summertime. And walking around is exhausting as it is even in, in December. I can't imagine, I literally can't imagine in August, even in Rome, we were just so tired. Walking around kills you, it's very tiring. Especially if you don't sleep enough, oh my goodness. But I'm grateful it's not a heat wave or something, that would be a disaster. I'm here only for a short time, so I don't think I'm gonna do any live streams, to be honest. I'll try to capture as much of Barcelona as I can. And since my second phone died, sorry, my second phone died, um, it makes it much, much harder for me to do live streams until I sort things out. So as much as I would love to chat to you guys, and I'm saying hi to you all. And I'm thinking of you. <laughs> um, as much as I would love to do a live stream here and test and test the signal, you know that's always interesting. Rome was absolutely spotless, spotless. <laughs> Rome was absolutely amazing. Not even buffering. It was perfect. It was like one of the best um, live streams in I've ever tried. I've tried Egypt, Greece, Pakistan, 
all over the UK and honestly Rome was like the top together with Prague I think no other cities were as good as that yeah and of course I tried it in Prague as well so So I would love to try it, like never say never, maybe maybe if I have spent half an hour maybe I, I can just walk around an area and try to try to do it somehow but it's it's not ideal without my second phone. getting dark let me try and ask for directions I hope these are not twists hi hey guys do you know which direction is La Rambla please La Rambla yeah that way just that street there yes. all the way down or yes you well yes if you if you go that go straight yeah. and a lot of <laughs> maybe two kilometers to the oh my goodness so it's quite a walk yes okay but you will find it. thank you so much thank you <laughs> It's okay, walking is what we do and look at the palm trees. I'm extremely happy. You see, this is what I call a good city break for me because we don't have palm trees like that in London. So I actually feel like I'm having a little holiday here. Especially once I get to the beach, you know, it feels special because you see different stuff that you, that you see in London. Rome, on the other hand, it didn't really feel like much of a difference. Obviously, beautiful fountain, beautiful statues and history, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, it's a city break. So if it wasn't for filming, if it wasn't for filming, I would not be going there as a tourist. I would not be coming to Barcelona still, and I would not be coming to Rome. Because I don't spend, I don't spend money on exploring the cities I've been here before I was just passing through as I said but for me if I have time and money you know when I was working full time if I have my precious whatever 18 days I'm not gonna go and spend even one day in Rome or any other city because it feels like I'm in London you know just same same but different different statues different whatever it doesn't feel like a change of scenery at all I come back to London and I feel like I've been the whole time in London so no 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 I don't do that I go to Islam Mujeres in Mexico Philippines or wherever you know with white sand exotic fruits get a tan swim in the sea you know all of that just trying to explain that I would not come to any of these places if it wasn't for filming Change of scenery is always good. I know I said it a few times, so don't don't get me wrong. I'm happy to be here, but if I was working full time uh, and I had my whatever 18 days, 20 days holidays, there is literally zero chance I would ever pay money to and spend my time here. Zero. All my friends are back in Thailand now and they are shocked why am I still in Europe <laughs> and in London since the weather is not so great it's supposed to be snowing as I said look at it look at this big big buses in Barcelona Long buses. 
This is some kind of train station here. Let me see. Adif. And it's gonna be very interesting coming back to my hotel without having a map. <laughs> Let's see where I end up. And Entrada and the Ness. Let's just have a little peep inside. Chances are somebody will tell me off and kick me out, but you know me, never try, never know. I like to try. Oh my dog, that's huge. Whoa, that's a big one. That they don't seem to have anything to enter the trains or to come closer to the trains you know no tickets no nothing oh my gosh in Mila oh sorry in Rome they wouldn't even let you come and see this they wouldn't even let you come close to the trains uh, to check them out what they look like and stuff you know and look at us I could actually jump on the train but of course the conductor would come for sure nice This must be the main station. I can't imagine anything bigger in Barcelona. I don't seem to, I don't see the name. I guess it's Adif, um, but I'm not happy with that name. <laughs> So it's going to be quite interesting to compare Rome with Barcelona since we've had only 24 hours in London in between. We flew in, you know, by the time I got home and by the time we flew out, literally 24 hours or 26 hours, something like that. I washed my clothes. I even went filming, <laughs> uh, food shopping, all that stuff. So let me see what kind of, you know, how I feel about each city, how, what, I can, what I can say about comparing them, if I can. I'm not saying, you know, it's, it's easy. Oh, 
there is green light. Meow meow, come on, you can do it. The sirens in, uh, and there is a police right now as well. <laughs> the sirens in uh, Italy were quite hilarious. Um, quite unusual sounds. Oh, I'm loving the palm trees here. I love it. What I need to find out if is if they have any Christmas markets here because obviously Christmas is around the corner. As we were leaving Rome, the IKEA tree in one of those main squares outside of that beautiful white building with the horse and whatever huge statue, statue on, on our last day has been finished and they put Christmas decorations on it but we didn't, we didn't have time to film it since we were leaving but I was passing through and I saw I saw it was done it's just unfortunate that we couldn't catch it otherwise apart from that I didn't really see any Christmas markets uh, maybe in Piazza was it Plaza? 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 Navana or something like that. They started to open a few stalls that looked like they could be Christmas related. But it wasn't really clear. So apart from that, we didn't really see much Christmas stuff. A few lights, you know, on the on the main shopping street there. Restaurants had their own lights and Santa. Santas and stuff but London is London like wow you can you can't compare you can't go a meter in, in London without bumping into some amazing Christmas trees in the city center and Christmas markets it's honestly honestly it's full on full on there Looks like we are close to civilization here. I see some Ferris wheel going on. Oh, we must be by the sea. I see a huge yacht. Oh, this is just weird. We've got a we've got green light. Let me turn back. Let me show you the cars are literally passing. Okay, we just missed it, but they they couldn't wait a second for people to pass through. Crazy. Who knows who knows where we are gonna end up guys somehow I don't think we are on the right path to La Rambla <laughs> I'll have to ask but I like where we are I don't complain seems nice look at all those palm trees I'm loving it And filming 60, 60 frames per second um, makes everything darker. So I might swap in my next video to 30 to make things... Oh, I am actually on the right way. Amazing. It's good to see some signage here. Very helpful. Time e okay, it's 13 degrees right now, so it's not too bad, and it's 5:30 right now. 
Isn't this weird? It's completely light here. 5.30 in December. Oh my God, 4, 4 p.m. in London. And it's extremely dark, completely dark. So yeah, this is a bonus. I can film longer. This video in London would be the whole time in dark, in dark, complete dark. Somehow I saw that sushi might be pretty cheap in Barcelona. I saw people saying the prices are not too bad. Seafood and sushi and stuff. So I might indulge as long as the prices are not too crazy. And wish me luck. I didn't take ins travel insurance here, which I always, always do. Somehow, because my, I got... European Union passport I don't know I'm I'm being stupid because imagine if I get what you call it seafood you know food poisoning or whatever that's not fun and I, ne I never get it in my in my life let's knock on whatever not to jinx it and in Egypt I was eating my friend is laughing in Egypt I was la I was eating street food shrimps from street vendors that he would not even touch because he was scared to get sick. I was eating it like no tomorrow and never got any problems. I never really have any problems, but it's always when you don't take, you know, insurance, <laughs> stuff happens. Oh my gosh, they've got... Oh, that's very nice. We are so gonna go on the other side. There is Christmas decorations there, you see? Ice ring. Very nice, I'm happy to be here. Let's do that. So the image of this video should be much clearer, hopefully, than my other videos, but also a little bit darker, as I said. <laughs> and moving on, going forward, this is going to be the standard quality. Just not, not here. I'm a little bit scared to take my, my stuff out. Look at that. I can put this on a thumbnail and say Christmas in Barcelona. There we go. Good stuff. Oh my God, they're just fixing. Look, we've got Spider-Man fixing it as we speak. This is the same thing we saw in Kingston when I was filming there that Christmas market. It looks like they're just literally fixing it now, you see? So lucky meow meow, good timing. Thank you. 
Let's see what my friend is gonna come, up, come back with. We are both exploring different parts of the city. As you can see, I ended up wherever my nose took me. And he's ending up wherever his nose takes him. I know he went uh, Sagrada Familia and who knows where he's gonna end up. But it would not surprise me if we are gonna bump into each other even without me being able to communicate with him because that's what always happens. Always five minutes apart from each other in any city, which is crazy. And bumping into, into each other by accident, it's, it's crazy. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> so Nadal Al Port It's always now nice to compare videos and pictures at the end of the day with my friend. He will show me different parts of the city I'll show him what I've seen it's it's very nice to travel with somebody I would love to take him back to Pakistan he is the perfect person to go to Pakistan with I would love to go back there with him but or or India I would love that and I'm hoping it's gonna work out oh I love this these are good taste. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> but yeah, I don't think it's gonna happen. He is more keen about going to, you know, Europe and stuff. But let's see, maybe, maybe one day if he's in a good mood. A spontaneous decision is gonna happen and we are gonna travel together to some crazy exotic countries let's see let's see let me take a picture for him actually so this is this is plastic I, yeah this is that this is plastic this is not uh, ice, ice ring. Unlike those in London, in London they got real snow. Uh, sorry, real ice. <laughs> that was almost caught on the camera. She saved it last minute. <laughs> so yeah, I never paid attention. I never come to ice rings, only when I'm filming. So I'm gonna have a closer look. What ice skating on? plastic looks like anyway let's go it would be lovely to see where I actually am on a map because when I get back to when I finish this video or, or yeah I'll check it I'll check it when I when I end up my video to see where we are. I know I'm by the sea somewhere, but it would be nice to imagine it on a on a map. Oh, look at all this. Hiya. Just looking. Thank you. Look at all of these. Looks like the... Is this Christmas market, yes? Is it opening today? The, the first day open today or not? I know, but but uh, what, is this the first day? Uh, yes, yes. Really? Oh, I'm lucky. Good. Uh, Thank you. Sixth of January. Until sixth of January. Okay, okay, got you. Thank you. Look at these guys. I don't usually eat stuff like this, but some of you may. I can see bacon, bacon, cheese. Ham cheese, chicken, they got vegan, chorizo, yum, 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 chorizo, I like, uh, yeah. tuna, and some non-specified meat. 
Oh, this is pretty. There is Royal Burger, 690 euros. Oh. So yeah, I just realized guys, new <laughs> New Year's resolutions round the corner. I still haven't I still haven't said my last year's. But yeah, this year has to has to happen. You know what I see? What you call it? Cotton candy. I'm gonna buy it. Um, maybe now or maybe a little bit later. Oh, look at this! We've got what you call it? Bull for the mighty bull. I told him keep your eyes peeled for a new destination because I assume in Spain there will be more bulls he's gonna be delighted the mighty bull in New York I'm getting you another picture literally I got you one yesterday in Walthamstow I found another bull there I'm becoming one of the best hunters of bull pictures apparently I always come across something what do we have here Whatever that is, patat patates. What's cooking here? Hi, they've got corn and ribs. I think that's ribs. I'm not really sure. Hiya, I'm just looking. Thank you. Nice, 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 and see my favorite Christmas. <laughs> my favorite Christmas decorations and stuff is not in a snowy environment. Is where the palm trees are, you know, because all the all the sunny countries, like even Thailand or wherever, Mexico, they all have Christmas decorations. Even even what you call it, Egypt. They all have Santa and Christmas trees out of the hotel, outside of the hotels and stuff, and I love it, the contrast with the with the palm trees. But the palm trees mean it's not too too cold, so that's my favorite kind of Christmas. Oh, I, I'm I'm so full. They got kebab in here. Falafel kebab. I don't see the prices here, but it's okay. They've got some wood, no, they got jewelry on the other side. Those that know me, they know I, I will never buy any jewelry. When I was younger, I tried to buy some and I never wore it anyway. So until the day I die, I will not buy anything anymore. It's not for me. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, this is gonna be all lit up. A massive, massive bow, bauble, bauble. I don't know what you call it even, I have to learn. But you see the one that we saw earlier, this is gonna be a massive one. It's gonna be gorgeous. They're just setting it up. There is literally a tape through here that you can't pass through. But let's say maybe tomorrow, 
you see that just setting it up so we are on time for me and my friend are gonna be probably one of the first people to document Christmas decorations Christmas lights in Barcelona this year because it's not even on good stuff <laughs> Like some kind of marina going on here. What is it? Oh my god, what is this? Delicious. Let me see. Choca negre, choca blanca, black and white, four euros. It looks amazing. I'm full now, but tomorrow maybe I'll come and taste. They got Pine nuts, pine nuts. Ooh, I've never seen anything like this. Nice. Thank you so much, thank you. And there is, that's the name of it. Yay, a little tree. But you know what, guys? Because I'm filming 60 frames per second, I'm limited by my internal storage space on my, on my phone here. And we are literally two, three minutes away from from it to be finishing. So I will have to end it at some point in a, in a minute or two. So I'm gonna start saying bye to you now, okay? So that you don't you don't complain, Leonard, that the video will stop, Leonard Smith, <laughs> that the video will end up by itself. Um, Thank you so much everybody for watching. Please press the thumbs up, please subscribe. And especially if you are new and if you are from Barcelona or if you used to be local, leave me a comment underneath the video and say something about Barcelona. <laughs> Where would you like me to go? Do you live here? Do you used to live here? Let me know your thoughts. And yeah, try to subscribe because I walk around all sorts of places, mainly London these days. But you know, I've been to Mexico and all sorts of Dubai and all over UK. Oh, look, 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 this is gonna be another one, beautiful. Just not today. So I'll be back tomorrow, that's for sure. And I love reading your comments, ladies and gents. I definitely love reading your comments. And recently I've been getting a lot of comments, so I'm very happy. And I'm trying to reply to every single one of them, as long as they make sense. Sometimes people just ask me for visa and to get married and all that stuff. So, that's not ideal. Oh, shit. There was a step. So what I'm gonna do after this, I'm gonna swap to 4K 30 frames per second. So the video is gonna be lighter and I'm gonna walk around. It's beautiful, it's not too dark yet. The sky is still blue. So I'm gonna start filming straight away. Yeah, it's gonna end now, now, now. So thank you so much everybody for watching. Check out my other videos from Rome and Barcelona. Loads of love. See you when you see me. Take care. Bye.